Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite most used products all throughout the month of October and that's going to be the video. So if you're interested to see my favorite products, please keep watching. Alright, so let's start. The first product I have I'm absolutely obsessed with. I think it's phenomenal. This is the Pi Lightwork Rose Hip Cleansing Oil. This is a small little mini mini. This is 10 mil. The big one is about this big and it retails for about $60 which is kind of expensive but I'm telling you I will be buying it after I use up all my cleansing oils. Um, first of all, this is made with 90% of organic ingredients and I'm pretty sure they are 100% natural ingredients in here. This totally removed all my face makeup, all my eye makeup. On days where I even had a lot of eye makeup, it took everything off. It didn't burn my eyes. I've heard people talk about this before and um, telling me how great it was and I was kind of like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But now I really understand how amazing it is. I'm using the Belief one right now. I have the Belief Cleansing Balm. I really do love that too, but I do think I like this better. I also like how this is in a pump form rather than having to stick your fingers in a jar and use it all over your face. But I'm telling you, if you're looking for an amazing cleansing oil, this is where it's at because I will be buying the full size of this. It is that good. Okay, let's talk about a body scrub. I'm really loving this. This is the Soap and Glory Scrub for Joy Uplifting Fragrance Expertly Designed to Uplift the Senses with notes of rhubarb and grapefruit. Um, it doesn't really smell to me like grapefruit, probably more on the rhubarb side. Do I love the smell? It's okay. It kind of smells like a like a rhubarb berry. I don't even know how to describe it. I would prefer a coconut, but this will do. This will definitely do. Does it uplift my spirits in the shower? I'm not too sure, but it does give me a really nice scrub. Now, the reason why I like this is because, I'll tell you why. So it looks like this, almost kind of like a strawberry jam. You take a little bit of this out on your fingers. Once it hits kind of water or dampness, it turns into this very beautiful white lather and it just really scrubs and hydrates all at the same time. And the reason why I like this too is I find sometimes with body scrubs, when you start to work them on your skin, they're so sandy that they kind of just fall to the bottom of the tub and you like waste half the scrub. This just adheres to the body, and just really lathers up and really scrubs your skin nice. Now it does contain walnut and apricot kind the kernels which I kind of stay away from on my face because when you crush an apricot or a walnut um, pit it definitely is a jaggedy kind of pit so when you're scrubbing your body they say you're getting micro cuts to the skin so I do avoid the apricot kind of kernel thing on the face but for my body I don't really care it does a great job at giving my skin a nice scrub and also hydrating so if you're looking for something like that in the winter time you got to scrub off the dead skin honey because we get dry this will keep you hydrated and smooth. So now that we're speaking about scrubs, let's talk about this guy. This is a face scrub and I've been really enjoying it. This is the Avon Isonox A New Clinical Collagen Booster Microneedling Polisher. It's basically like a microdermabrasion face scrub in a little pink tube. I use this about two to three times per week. I really like using a scrub on my skin. I have combination skin. I find it does make a great difference around this area right here. Sometimes I can get little bumps, a little bit more texture, so this does keep it smooth. I find after I use this, my skin's very radiant and very soft, and I find it's not too harsh. Some scrubs can be a little bit harsh. This one's good because it definitely gives you a nice scrub without being overly abrasive, and it does contain a uh, pearl light aluminum oxide crystals and diamond powders to help give you a great exfoliation. So if you're looking for a really nice scrub, this one from Avon is definitely worth checking out. I've been really enjoying it. Okay, this next product is kind of like a miracle worker. Now I'm going to tell you, I use a lot of skincare, I try a lot of new skincare, and not often do I use a product and I have instant results. Okay, so this, this next guy right here gives you instant results. This right here is the Vichy Lift Active Specialist Peptide C Anti-Aging Ampules, um, contains 10% vitamin C, pure vitamin C, and hyaluronic acid. Now I think ampules in France, the French, the French women know what it's at, I think the ampules there are a little bit more popular. I feel like in Canada we're kind of just getting on the ampule train and I'm pretty sure Vichy is one of the first companies that we have here that's offering something like this and let me tell you this stuff is amazing. So basically it looks like this. You get a whole bunch of little vials in a pack. This is basically like a pick-me-up. You're going to want to use this every so many months on your skin just to kind of give it that vibrance, that radiance, that hydration because um, it can be, I think it's quite expensive. I'm not even sure what this retails for but I know it's probably a little bit expensive so you're not going to want to use this every single month. Um, so what you do is you take these glass, they are glass, and it's kind of scary. I'm surprised, anyways, I'm surprised there's not a different kind of method for this because let me just tell you, please read the instructions and follow them carefully because I, I'm a non-instruction reader. 
I just think I know how to do everything when I when I just truly need to read the instructions sometimes. So the first time I used this, I legit took my finger like this and I went like this and I cracked it off. And I actually sliced my finger open because these are glass and sometimes when you do crack them, they shatter. So they tell you in the directions to put a tissue over top or a paper towel, crack it off, and that way you're not gonna be slicing your finger open like how I did. Now each ampule is supposed to give you about two uses. So what they do is they give you this guy right here, this plastic piece. Um, so after you crack it open, you're going to want to put the plastic over top like this. And this is how you pour it out really nicely onto your hand. So you're going to want to pour it out. There's actually a little bit left in this one. It's too, it's too luxurious to waste. And you're going to want to pat it all into the skin. And then it has a little stopper so you can use it twice and use it the next day. I'm pretty sure after you open it, you have 48 hours to use it before the potency kind of fades out. But I'm telling you, this instantly gave me radiance. My skin looks smooth. I woke up the next morning and I couldn't believe my face it honestly looks my face looks so good that I felt like I didn't even need foundation so I'm almost done my month treatment and I'm telling you I'm seeing great results I have never been so impressed before with the skin treatment item ever in my life like I was with this highly impressed and that's hard to do but I was impressed. Okay, I have this empty cream from Belief. This is the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I love this stuff. This was a small little 10 mil. Very lightweight, very hydrating on the skin. I love the smell of this. It almost smells like just a nice, fresh, I can't even describe it, but it's very fresh and very light. If you have combination skin, this cream gives you great moisture without breaking you out. So if you're looking for something like this, I highly recommend it and I have the full size. I'm just waiting to use up the rest of my creams to open that, but I love it. Love, love, love this cream. Okay, let's talk about this concealer because this concealer is a freaking amazing. This is the Dermablend Cover Care Full Coverage Concealer. I'm obsessed with this. I've been using this for the last like month and a half. I think they sent me three shades. Thank you so much. Very grateful for that. Uh, it comes with a massive doe foot kind of applicator, just like the Tarte Shape Tape. And to be honest with you, I do think the Tarte Shape Tape is uh, it's great, but I do find it drying. So this one right here gives you full coverage um, and is not drying. It doesn't get super crepey and cakey. Um, I have it on today. I find my eyes never look better. It's very smooth. I just do one application and sometimes I go in with a tiny bit more just in this area right here in the hollows because I do get a little bit more blue but I find it blends out seamlessly and when I set it with powder it just stays all day and looks amazing so I highly recommend this. I think that this concealer is amazing and you get a lot. You get 10 mil. Most concealers you don't get 10 mil so this will last you a little bit longer. I think it is on the pricier side around the $30 mark but hey you get double the amount almost than a regular concealer so I'm telling you, this is where it's at. Very, very good. And since we're talking about under eyes, I'm gonna tell you that I've been using this and freaking love it. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I used to use this back in the day, all the time. And then what happened was, one time I went to Holtz. Yes, I had a gift card. This was like years ago. And the lady gave me the wrong one. And I still have, it's over here actually. The lady gave me this, right here. She gave me this instead. The Invisible Loose Setting Powder Universal. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This one, no, 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 no. It just does not work. I don't know what is in this, but it just makes your under eyes look dry and weird. So I bought two of these. And you know, by the time I noticed that they were wrong when I cracked them open, it was past the 30 days and they wouldn't do anything for me. So I, ever since that happened to me, I think it just left a bad like taste in my mouth. I'm like, oh, I'm not buying this anymore. But then I got this again and I understand why I used to love this so much. It's very beautiful. I have it on today. I take my damp little beauty sponge, I dip into the powder and I just press it underneath my eyes. It sets it really nice. It's not too cakey and doesn't look dry. And it has the right amount of coverage. It does give you a tiny bit, bit of coverage even though it's translucent, but it's not too white. Some of them can be very brightening, which is a little bit stark sometimes. So I really do love this. If you're on the fence about buying this and you have been for a while, I'm telling you, it's one of the best under eye setting powders in the game. It really is. Okay, I'm also obsessed with this right here. So I did try this once before. This is the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask. Now I only had a tiny little sample, the one little packet that you stick your finger in and it's basically gone. So I did try this once and I wasn't, for some reason I just wasn't blown away. I'm like, I would never buy that. I would never spend the money on that. That's what I said in my head. But then I saw this and then I saw the name. It said Sweet Candy. 
and I love a sweet, sweet candy. So I thought, mm, I needed a lip balm. I ran out. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give this brand another shot and try this sweet, sweet candy lip mask out. And let me tell you, oh my God, it's amazing. I wear this every night before I go to bed. I actually look forward to putting this on my lips because I do feel like I'm eating candy, like sucking in all the candy without the calories. So it's great if you're on a diet and you just really want that taste of candy, but you're, you have that willpower and you're not eating it, buy this. This will just make you feel like you're eating the candy. It is so good. My lips are super hydrated. Um, I love the color. It gives them a little bit of a pink sheen. Um, highly recommend this. So if you're looking for an amazing lip balm, I really love this. Really do. I also have another lip balm that I'm absolutely obsessed with as well. So I use that last one at night. This one I use during the day and I freaking love this. This is the, this, and this is less expensive than that one right there. This is the Physicians Formula 24 Karat Gold Collagen Lip Serum. Now this is true. It is like a lip serum. It's in between the texture of like a honey. It's runny. Um, it does have a little bit of gold flakes inside, but I'm telling you, this makes my lips so hydrated throughout the whole day. Um, and it has some sort of vegan collagen in it. I don't really know how this works, but it's a vegan collagen and it actually helps plump my lips up, which it does. It's not that like weird tingling burning kind of lip plumper. It's an actual plumper where my lips just feel so hydrated and they're sucking in all the, the water that they just look plump and beautiful. So if you're looking for a product that is in between like a lip, I would say like a lip ointment and then like a lip gloss, this would be it. But I really do find it nourishes and hydrates my lips all day long and I freaking love this as well. So Maybe you should buy this for the morning and that at night because you won't be sore. Your lips will just be luscious all winter long. Trust me, this is facts. Facts. Okay, I have these guys right here, which I'm highly impressed by, which I, you know what? I feel bad because when these launched, when Maybelline launched these guys, I was like, I, I wasn't interested. Usually I get very excited with drugstore launches and with these, I just... I wasn't into it. And you know why? I've used stuff like this before where you have to dip the applicator into the thing, gets all weird and crumbly, and it just makes a mess. These are amazing. The technology behind this is amazing. They come out like a cream and they dry to a powder. Now, because they kind of come out like a cream, there's no fallout, I mean zero. You can use them even as an eyeliner. I did it with the blue one. Um, you can use it as an eyeliner and there's just no mess. No mess and they last all day, very easy to use. So I've been loving this color right here, this gold shade, which is called 35 Flash. And then I've been also loving this color too, which is uh, 20 Charm. It's a matte shade, it has like a pink kind of undertone. It looks really beautiful. I did create a look with this. It looks super stunning on the eye. It's like a mauve kind of pink. If you had a deeper skin tone, this would look incredible on you. It would just it would pop. It would just make your eye look spectacular. But if you're looking for something that's very easy to use, you can just dip in, put all over the eye, no fallout, and it stays all day. I'm telling you, these little shadow things are amazing. These cream to powder eyeshadow pens are phenomenal. I also started using this again. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I really love this. I don't know why. I think I might have used this once or twice, put it down, and never used it again. I started using this. I've been using this for the last month, and I love it. It gives your lashes great length, great curl separation. Um, I just like it a lot, and that's all I really have to say. It doesn't flake throughout the day. So if you're looking for a great drugstore mascara, this one from Maybelline, the Lash Sensational, is a good one, and I highly recommend it. And then I've also been using these two products throughout the whole month now. Okay, so what I do is I use the Maybelline Brow Extensions. I'm obsessed with that. Obsessed. So I use that through the tail of my brow and then I kind of brush that through. But when I brush that through, I still have a little bit of sparseness um, because I don't have thick hairs on the tails of my eyebrows. So then what I do is I take one of these products. So either I take the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel, which looks like this. I remember I did a first impression with this on my channel back in the day and I actually applied it using this applicator and it was a disaster. So what I like to do is I take a little brow brush, I dip it in and I feather it through the brows and create hair and it stays all day. I love this one, so I either use this guy right here, which is in the shade, I believe, uh, yeah, 255 Soft Brown, or I go in with this guy. This is the L'Oreal Unbeliever Brow, which I really love as well. This one's a little bit lighter. I have this guy right here on today on my eyebrows, on the tails. I really love it, so I take this again, take my little brush, and flick it through and it just creates a really nice feathery soft brow. So I've been loving these two products. I bought them a long time ago, like a long time ago, and I just got back into them again and I love using it with a little brush to feather through the brows. So next I have this guy right here. This is the Pure No Filter Primer in Rose Gold. It's Blurring Photography Primer. 
that's what it says and it's really good so when I first tried this on camera I thought oh my god I don't know about this it's very 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 illuminating and it also contains shea butter which I was kind of like mm, I'm not too sure because shea butter for me sometimes breaks me out um, this is gluten free cruelty free and also vegan friendly so when you put it on your face it, it is very beautiful if you have dry skin you would freaking love this because it does have that shea butter and it does have that glow to it. I have combination skin and I still love it. I focus this more though on the outer portions of my cheeks and then I would go in more with a like um, I use a Tatcha Silk Canvas around my nose. But this primer just gives your face that super hydrated glow. Kind of gives you a little bit of a tan. The rose gold kind of makes your skin look a little bit tan too underneath. But it's a great primer and I've been using it and highly recommend it. I think it's amazing. Just amazing if you want something that gives you that glow the lip from within and if you like a lightweight foundation when you put a lightweight foundation over top of this it just the radiance just just comes through like a ray of sunshine it's very nice okay so this will be the end of my october favorites i really hope you did enjoy this video if you did as always please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos and until next time i will see you guys later thanks for watching bye